Oof. Okay. Uh, welcome, everyone who's watching. Uh, today I'm gonna be playing Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the Kirby's Dream Collection version on the Wii. Uh, I mainly decided to play this game just because, uh, yesterday, as of recording this, uh, was Nintendo's E3 of September 2021, and they announced the new Kirby game, uh, what was it called, like, Kirby in the Forgotten Land or something, and it's going to be the very first 3D Kirby game, not to mention that one of my friends, uh, has gotten me, I guess, back into the series as of late. Oh, whoops. So, you know, I, I, I wanted to play this game again, because it, it's been years since I've played the original Kirby's Dream Land, and, you know, this game might be really, really easy, like, you know, every Kirby game, but I still always have a good time with it, and that, that just goes for any Kirby game, honestly. I love playing this game, even if it's only, like, 30 minutes uh, in length. Uh, I figured, you know... It, it would make for the perfect video length, so, you know, fuck it. We're gonna be playing Kirby, we're gonna have a good time. That's all you need to know. I've always found it interesting, uh, with Kirby, and I know this is, like, one of those, like, Kirby trivia facts that everyone points out, but I still think it's interesting anyway, uh, how, for the box art of this game, for Kirby's Dreamland, uh, Kirby is white in the box art, as well as the commercial, no one ever points that out, but Kirby's white in the commercial for this game as well. Uh, but Kirby's white on the box art because this was before they settled on, you know, a definitive color for Kirby. Because Sakurai wanted Kirby to be pink, and Miyamoto wanted Kirby to be yellow. And um, all the box art designers had to go off of was, you know, th the sprites in the game. So, you know, they decided to make Kirby white on the box art. It's the only Kirby game that's, uh, like that. Because by the next title, Kirby's Adventure, you know, they uh, that's when they fully decided on making him pink. Which, you know, good call. Pink, pink is a very epic color. Aw, oh, man, there, there's just such a simple joy to playing Kirby games. Probably because Kirby himself is simple. Like, you quite literally just suck and blow. Like, yeah, you could make so many dirty jokes with that. And people do all the time. But, you know, it's Kirby. Oh, and we're at our first boss battle. Say, uh, say hello to this asshole, Wispy Woods, who is in, like, every Kirby game. Kirby, what are you doing? You can't eat all those fucking apples. Uh, yeah. Wispy Woods needs to be in, like, the video game Boss Battle Hall of Fame, because he's in, like, every fucking Kirby game. Except for Squeak Squad. He's not in that one. Oh, yeah! Castle Lolo, though. I always forget this level exists just because... I, uh, I play Kirby- oh, okay, my bad. I play Kirby Superstar a lot, and, uh, freaking, you know how the Spring Breeze mode in that game is, like, a remake of- can I not go back through? Okay. Uh, it, it's a remake of the original Kirby's Dreamland, like a, a simplified remake, so it's a lot shorter. Well, they just straight up cut out this level from that, you know- Entirely. So, uh, whenever I play this game again, I, I always expect- Oh, hello Mario question mark blocks. Um, I always expect to go on to like, you know, uh... I always expect to go on to the Float Islands level, but- And then it, it, it transitions to this one, and I'm like, oh shit, that's right. <laughs> One thing about Kirby that's always been good, ever since the very first game, is the music. Kirby is one of those franchises that genuinely just, ah, very, very satisfactory music all around. 
I can't think of a Kirby game that has a soundtrack that I don't like. Of course, some are better, uh, blah, 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 blah. some are better than others, but you know how it is. God, I am not doing very good. Oh yeah, the spicy curry. I always forget about this. It's literally only in this game. Oh, there we go. I I'm pretty sure it's literally only in this game. And they just randomly decided to make it an item for Smash Bros. Like the, the spicy curry. Which, you know, it's, that's that's interesting, I guess. Uh, come on. Oh. 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 Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Okay. Oh yeah, and here are these assholes, the Gordos. Like, probably some of the most annoying Kirby enemies ever. Because they barely even qualify as enemies, they're more obstacles than anything. Just because you can't kill them no matter what. Uh, so that's kind of annoying, but... You know how it is. Uh, and here is the boss for this level, Lolo and La La La. Stupid ass names. Um... If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure these characters are actually based off of characters from, like, a pre-existing Game Boy game. I don't remember what the game is called, but, um, someone, someone will probably point that out to me and I'll probably remember. Oh, come on. I was trying to go down through the platform. God, I am... I am sucking. And not in the good Kirby kind, just like in the bad, I, I am really bad at this game kind. And it's Kirby, I shouldn't be, be, I, I shouldn't be sucking. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not much of a gamer, if you couldn't tell, I don't really play that many video games. Uh, so I'm not generally skilled. Uh, yeah, oh shoot, okay, alright. <laughs> low, low, low jump scare. Uh, come on. There we go. Daddy! Oh, and that's level two down. Just uh, three more, I believe. I was going to point this out earlier, but something I find interesting... Uh, well, there are a lot of things about Kirby I find interesting, but this thing in particular... Because um, obviously, since this is the first Kirby game, this this game doesn't have any copy abilities, because uh, copy abilities weren't introduced until, like, the second Kirby game, Kirby's Adventure. And I always found it interesting how this game kind of has, like, you know, precursors to the copy abilities. Like, in, in Castle Lolololo, there was that, like, mic that was just sitting there that you use to, like, clear the screen of all the enemies. And, uh, there was also the spicy curry, which, you know, is like a precursor to fire. And, you know, that bomb I inhaled earlier. Oh! Yeah, that bomb I inhaled earlier, kind of like a precursor to the, the bomb ability. So, you know, the, the seeds were planted pretty early on. Also, I just realized this level is basically just Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island, so... Take that for what you will. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off! I love the little, like, waddle animation Kirby does when he has something in his mouth. Look at him go! Look at him go! <laughs> oh, man, no! Uh, uh, oh, fuck! I... <coughs> I didn't even get to see that freaking coconut coming, so that, that was not my fault. They didn't even bother pr uh, programming actual swim physics for this game, so Kirby just kind of walks mid-air in the water. That's pretty fun. That's very funny. <laughs> oh god, okay. Um, well, you know, let, let me get, uh, you guys let me know if you actually enjoy this, and, um, I if you do enjoy this video, then, um, you know, I, I might consider playing other Kirby games on my channel, or just more video games on my channel in general. I know I, um, 
have, I, I know I have my Mario series to work on, I've just been taking a break from that for a little while. Uh, ma mainly just because I haven't been really motivated to work on it. It's obvious. It it's not cancelled, obviously. I'm not gonna do that again to you guys. Uh, but I I'm, I'm just taking a break uh, on it until I get the motivation to work on it again. I like how jumping in the water just instantaneously cancels out your spicy curry. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> Part of the reason why I decided to do this is mainly just because I need more stuff to upload on my channel anyway. So, you know. Oh look! It's Moby Dick! It's Moby Dick doing in Kirby. Why the fuck is it called Moby Dick? That's so- People- Middle schoolers are gonna make so many inappropriate jokes out of that. That's like naming your child Dick. Whoever does that, seriously screw off, because, like, I mean, I personally don't know anyone named Dick, but that is probably, like, the, one of the most unfortunate first names to ever have. Okay, so now now we're fighting the boss of the beach level, which is a, a giant anthropomorphic blimp for some reason. Also, fun fact, um, this blimp, which is named Kabula, by the way, that blimp is apparently a female, so... Take that information for what you will. Oh wow, I actually never noticed that before. The, the, the beach level ends in the sky, and then the next level is the sky level. That's, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, but man, dude, I, I, am, I am so excited for that new Kirby game that's coming out next year. It, it, it feels so weird, because like most other Nintendo franchises... Have like already, or, or just most like popular video game franchises in general, have like, oh shit, oh shit, oh god, forgot about those enemies. Um, you know, like Mario, Zelda, um, or just other like video game franchises in general, like Sonic and you know, all that. I've already made the transition into 3D. Kirby obviously has like games with 3D graphics, you know, like Kirby 64 and like all the modern Kirby games. But they're still, like, most of them are still, like, 2D side-scroller, like, 2D platformers instead of 3D platformers. So, I think it's interesting I, that they waited this long to make it, like, an actual, like, Kirby 3D platformer. But, oh man. That, that game looks so badass. I cannot, I cannot wait to get it. Ah, oh boy. Okay. See, look, they have, like, the cutter guys as well. The the enemies that give you the cutter ability, usually. Oh. These enemies are, are the worst, because if you try to inhale them, they will turn into, like, these demon creatures. And <laughs> just come for your ass. Huh. Sometimes they can catch you off guard, especially in this game when the enemies sometimes just spawn on screen, like, really fast, like, to the point where you can't like, avoid them sometimes. And, you know, I get it. It's like... Th this game was for the Game Boy. The Game Boy wasn't exactly the most advanced console out there. I mean, it was groundbreaking for its time, obviously. But, uh... You know, like... Yeah, okay, thanks for the dead end. Dick. Uh... What was I talking about? Oh god. Oh god. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, 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 the Game Boy. Oh, well. Okay, uh, yeah, but the Game Boy. <laughs> Game Boy? Uh, but the Game Boy's screen is, like, so fucking tiny that, like, yeah, sometimes, especially in this game, and I think uh, Kirby's Dream Line 2 has the same problem. Enemies will just spawn on screen, like, so quickly that you won't be able to avoid them in time. Damn it, I fell for the same dead end trick. Screw off. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. I don't know how I avoided that, but I'm glad I did. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay, this boss makes me nervous. 
mini boss, but you know, it's just a giant eyeball. Literally fucking Cracko Jr. And of course, the the main boss of this um, level is like the most recurring boss, or not the most, but one of the most recurring bosses in the Kirby series, a uh, Cracko. I I never understood that name. Why is he called Cracko? Is, is there is is that supposed to be a pun on something? I, it's probably something like really obvious, and I'm just stupid. But I, I I never got that. So if someone would like to explain that to me, that would be really nice. Wow. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Figures. Oh my. Okay. God, what is this Mega Man? The, I think the spikes took two of my health instead of one. Oh my god. Good thing that Maximum Tomato was there. I find it interesting how... And I, that took off half of my health?! What the hell?! Oh my god! Okay then, alright. Um... What was I- I was about to say something. I foregore, I guess you could say. Um, damn it. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I remember now. I find it funny how Kir it's, like, confirmed that Kirby's favorite food are tomatoes. Especially because, me personally, I, I, I cannot stand tomatoes. Tomatoes are gross. <laughs> tomato, tomato, brr. Only like one person will probably get that reference I just made. Uh, so to the one person who got that reference, uh, good on ya. All right, here's Cracko. It's just a giant cloud with spikes and a singular eyeball. Okay. Uh, I Okay, alright, well... Spittle Waddle Do- Dude! Dude! Oh my god! Ugh. Okay, I can't inhale him fast enough and move out of the way at the same time- Oh, now you're gonna fly above, huh? Just to throw me off. Why do you keep doing that? Usually you fly below, like you fly in a, like a downward like arc, like a U arc. And so I try to like fly over that before swallowing the- Yeah, see, now when I try and swallow the waddle do. Oh my god, okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm! Shouldn't be getting this worked up, it's fucking- Fucking Kirby. I should not be getting this worked up. See, like, what is that? What is that? That is so dumb. Screw you. Get bent. Okay, can you shoot a guy at me? Ugh. Alright, come on. Oh my god. Yeah, Cracko, more like I'm gonna crack your fucking kneecaps. Don't even have any kneecaps, you're a anthropomorphic cloud monster. Can I just... Yeah, fuck off. You bastard. Alright, so that's four out of five. Um, and then the last level in the game is... Uh, Mount DDD. Ah oh, man, ah uh, my my man, the man, the myth, the legend, King DDD, the best, the best penguin to ever exist in fictional media. One of the greatest fictional characters to ever exist. You know what they say? He's gonna clobber that dare Kirby. I find it interesting how like. God, I I need to stop saying that. Um, but, 
It's weird to me how, like, instead of an actual level, like DDD's castle... Oh yeah, and there, there's just, like, these Kirby... Thing, whatever. Like, for DDD's castle, instead of, like... Oh, I don't know, an actual castle... Alright, mm-hmm. Yep. Uh... <laughs> fuck you, I can't eat all these apples! Uh... Like, instead of an actual castle level, you just go through simplified versions, like, of all the levels you just played, and then you fight DDD. Like, whoa! Make your own damn level. Oh boy. Oh heavens. Oh heavens. Or, or, or if you were a, if you were an atheist, you'd be all like, oh, Oh, Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> uh, one person, again, one person is probably going to get that joke. Good lord. I hate my sense of humor. I'm just now realizing that this is the first ever... Like, obviously, this isn't the first gameplay video I've done on my channel, but it's the first one where I'm commentating solo, and I'm not very good at that, so hopefully I'm able to hold y'all's attention. Ugh. I mean, hey, at, at least there aren't any particular periods where I'm being, like, you know, silent. And that's not to knock anyone who does that. Sometimes there are just generally some... some sometimes there are just moments where you don't have much to say. Personally, if you can get me going on a topic that I actually care about, I will... I will go and go and go, and I will not stop until someone eventually probably forces me to. I could talk about Kirby all... I could talk about Kirby all damn day, dude. How did that not hit you? <sighs> Alright, mm-hmm. Okay. Can I at least have a health pickup or something? I don't know if you die to DDD if it, like, boots you back to the, uh... Like, if you have to redo everything else all over again. Oh my god! Guys, we're on the poop deck. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. Oh, fuck off. Whee! Oh, God. Okay. Alright, alright. Mega Man spikes, Mega Man spikes. Wow, really? Really? Alright, that, that was my dumbass fault. I, w I was not paying attention. <laughs> I never understood, like, those Kirbys that are, like, guarding all those doors. Like, are those just other Kirbys? Or, like, are those holograms or hallucinations? You know, because of it being a Game Boy game, it it's kind of never explained. So, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those things that's just left up to interpretation. Kind of reminds me of how in Kirby's Dream Land 3, there's literally, like, this enemy, or, like... It's hard to describe if they're actually, like, an enemy in the game or not, but, uh... It's like, oh yeah, um... It's literally just these other Kirbys. I don't remember the name of the enemy itself. But it's literally just these Kirbys, and they're always purposefully put in certain spots where you can't interact with them. So... I feel like that's just something that the developers threw in just to start fan speculation. Uh... And you know how much people love doing that. Fan theories and fan speculation and all that. It's why game theory exists, after all. Alright, so we gotta fight Krako again. Is he gonna be even more annoying than last time? See! See! I, I flew over! And he was like, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly high this time. He knows. I think I'm actually going insane. Like, there is no pattern to whether he flies up or down. It's just kind of randomized. Alright, come on. Come on, big boy. Who's your big boy? Who's your good boy? Oh, you, Cracko! Oh, yes, yeah, yes! Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ugh. <sighs> It's okay, we're almost done with the game. Dude, really? 
Come on. No! I can't wait to go into the fight. Alright, whoop -de doodles I get to go into the King DDD boss fight with the two health! Ah, uh, but yeah, here, here's, here's the... Here's the star of the show, King DDD. DDD, that's the name you should know. DDD, he's the king of the show. Uh, oh, I love King DDD. He is, he is quite literally the best. Easily like top ten favorite fictional characters of all time. Also, goddamn, I didn't, I never realized how massive his health bar was. If I could beat DDD with just two. Bars of health. That would be really. That would be very teeny. I've always found it extremely charming how you fight DDD in like a wrestling ring. Like, why does he have this in his castle? Has he always had this here? Does he just host local wrestling tournaments in his castle? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my. Oh god. Okay. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Hey! Oh! Oof! Okay, alright. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 Yep! Oh! Oh, this is stressful. Oh, this is stressful. Okay. Alright. Okay. Oh my god! Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, frick you! Oh, that sucks! Yeah, <laughs> Kirby Punny! Oh, I was gonna inhale that. Fuck you, DDD! Just kidding, I love you, DDD. Ah! Oh no! And then, and then in later games, instead of having DDD fight, um, Kirby, he was all like, or instead of fighting Kirby, oh, god, okay. Instead of fighting Kirby himself, he was all like, I need a monster to club in that damn Kirby! I'm sorry. Uh. Uh. Come on. Do your jump. Do your jump. Please. Thank you. Really? You don't normally do that, you chunky penguin fuck? Like, he stopped in midair. He usually just goes the full arc. <sighs> Whatever. Come on. Okay, four hits left. Four hits left. Alright, come on. Come on! Ah! Do your jump! Do your job! <laughs> no! Ugh. Oh, this is... This is not very funny. Oh! Oh no! Okay, two hits left. Oh. Oh heavens. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all oh, my head hurts. Oh my god. Oh, I, I should not have done that laugh. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so now the ending of the game is just DeviantArt incarnate. Kirby puffs up to the size of the moon, carries DDD's castle all by himself, and just drops food in random places and just hopes hopes that the citizens of Dreamland will be able to find the food that he drops. Sunday rain? Wow, that is... Or no, sun, sunny rain. Wait, is, is that what that said? I, I didn't even see. Ugh. But yeah, that, that, was, that was Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy. Again, very, very short game. <laughs> Special thanks, Bubby. And cipher. What do you mean, like, blue cipher? <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, 
again, very, very, very short game, but, again, really fun, and really charming, and kickstarted, you know, one of my favorite video game series of all time. I fucking love Kirby. Kirby's the shit, man. Um, oh, well, thank you, game. Thank you for existing. I'm, uh, glad to have you. Uh, yeah, I, I guess just, you know, you guys let me know if you enjoyed this, and, you know, I'll consider... I'll consider playing more Kirby games, and just more games in general, on my channel. Ugh, <sighs> you know how that is. Ugh, <sighs> so I'll see. I'll, I'll... Oh! That's right, forgot about this. <laughs> Good job, press up, A, and select on the title screen to start a new adventure. Good luck! I love this little animation of King DDD. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Cry about it. Yeah, basically, oh yeah, if you press up A and select on the title screen, you get a harder mode, you know, for the more hardcore gamers. So they really did think of everything. So, you know, good for them. I'm happy for them. <sighs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. No, I'll see you when I see you.